Alright, what is up everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video. Today I got a cool little tutorial for you. Something that's going to be pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, so, um, we when we left off on this, I, I know I'm back in <laughs> working on uh, the uh, spinning coaster, which I'm not technically um, working on it, but um, I figured it'd be a good candidate for this video on uh, creating a queue line since I hadn't really created a queue line for it. So anyways, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to make kind of some nice queue lines and everything like that um, for your parks. And, you know, uh, say you're tired of the end game railings, um, which you can definitely use. They're not too terrible. I've seen worse before. Um, but if you want something that looks a little bit more realistic and you want to go more that realism aspect of things you know maybe uh maybe this is what you're looking for so so basically that's uh where we're gonna go from here we're gonna try and create a more realistic kind of uh queue line um this isn't counting like these steps here those were just kind of thrown in there i'm gonna just create like some very um basic switchbacks and uh, that are very realistic to like generic themed rides and stuff um, if you're looking for more themed cues and stuff um, you could probably figure out some cool stuff but this is kind of basic to try and get more realism into your um, and maybe into your uh, cue lines and stuff so basically what you're going to want to do is some path covers and some custom fencing you know that's basically what the uh, uh, recipe for this is so um, and also it always is a good idea to do some some nice small switchbacks so the first thing we're gonna do here is basically just create uh, <clears throat> some switchbacks uh, so let's just go and you can kind of do whatever you want you can make some cattle pens um, I usually like to have the grid selected and doing square edges um, this is all gonna be covered up anyway so you don't technically have to <clears throat> So this is going to be generic. There's not going to be any theming in here. We're just going to create a generic um, little cattle pen switch back <clears throat> stuff like that. And I'm going to show you some realistic stuff that you can accomplish while doing this. You want your um, say like this switch back come in here. So basically what we're going to do is make it look like these switch backs can be opened and closed. So for instance, say if it is a slower day, we're going to put like a chain up right here. Um, to where they can open and close this section of queue. That's kind of like what, what we want to go for here. So we're going to make it to where they can open and close different sections of queue line um, based on the attendance. You know, obviously that's not an option in Planet Coaster. It'd be kind of cool if they maybe added that in like Planet Coaster 2 or something. That'd be kind of cool if they could uh, maybe implement something along those lines. That would actually be pretty neat. I'm not going to go super terribly long, but you can create some very nice long um, switchbacks and everything. Uh, just to keep this video simple, we're going to um, just kind of go through those right there. And then maybe or go right here. Maybe um, I just want to have some uh, options here for when we do do that. So when we do like a... Uh, optional opening of the queue so we can have a short queue option for instance if there is no line we can make it to where there's like a chain here and they can just go up there so basically what we're going to want to do um i like to keep the end game fencing on just to get started here we're not going to use it in the end but i i use it that way i know where everything is now you can use different uh, path covers um, if you just want to use in-game path covers I recommend just using like the smooth concrete or wooden um, whatever you want to use for it depending on what you're looking for but the smooth concrete usually gets the job done pretty well here and what you're going to want to do is just sink it down here um, so this is the first one of your building uh, pieces um, the only thing is it's not going to be able to cover up um, these guys, which is okay. We just mainly want to cover up the gaps where the switchbacks are here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. And we're going to go ahead and start building it downwards. I guess I don't have to do that one. Um, but we're just going to build this around the queue line. 
Now you might have some overlapping pieces, that's okay, we can fix that in just a moment. Um, and this is just to mainly get rid of that green grass in the middle. And uh, it just gives it a more unique, I guess you could say, look here. So basically, we don't want this to overlap, so we're going to go ahead and turn down our grid size all the way right here. I'm going to just move these to where they're nice and as flush as possible. Um, they don't have to be completely perfect, but now we have that going for us. So, um, so basically, that's going to be nice, and then we can use the rest of it for our fencing that we're going to do. So uh, basically, like I said, you can have the... Um, uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to get rid of, go ahead and get rid of the railing on our uh, queue line here. So basically, we're going to get rid of our railings. There we go. Um, I'm going to keep the curb on for right now. We are going to get rid of the curb as well. But I just want to... Um, so basically, a good thing to do is maybe keep the curb on. Um, and th that's way you just know where your path is while you're creating your queue. Sometimes uh, I'll do it without it and completely forget where my queue is. So sometimes I'll keep this on just for that sake. Um, and we're gonna wanna put our custom fencing in the middle of where that queue is. And then we'll get rid of the curb and then it will look a little bit more natural and everything like that. Like I said, I, I do recommend just keep the curb on. You don't have to have the railing on. I just had it on for a second. I'm also going to be showing you how to do some elevated railings as well. Um, so basically, what we're going to be using for this tutorial today, we are going to be using a Theme Maker's Toolkit item. Um, if you don't like that, that's fine. But I like using toolkit items. There's no reason not to um, unless um, you have issues using them. So I'm going to be using these chains and also this Q-Fence pole right here. And there's a uh, collection of five different pieces here. And this is um, a Q Fence. This is by Idro. He makes a lot of good stuff, so make sure you go check out I a lot of Idro's Theme Maker Toolkit. He has a lot of cool, realistic stuff. So Idro made these Q line fences, and they're very nice because you can uh, really use them. He's got the one with the bend up here. They are uh, multicolor, so you can change it to whatever color you want. So you can have these bends here. Um, you can also have the straight pole, and then you have short uh they have, he has some shorter ones and then some taller ones and then he's got the connector so this is nice so basically what you're going to want to do the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to align the surface and then just make sure i'm going to put this up against this just to make sure i am perfectly um aligned with this so i'm just going to rotate this um to do if you don't know how to do the advanced move tool you do push the x key on your keyboard it'll move you to the advanced move here if you push an X again, it will change you to the rotation and stuff like that. So use X on your keyboard to do that. I like to do that for a um, very um, nice placement of my stuff. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this pole. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the pole connector. And I'm going to rotate this to where it's uh, in the shape of the T. Like so. Um, and now before I get too far, I'm going to go ahead and select these with the multi-select. Um, you can make it a part of this building if you want to. Um, let's go ahead and I am going to prefer not to make it part of that. That way, if I'm trying to select something, I don't have to worry about it selecting other stuff. So I'm going to make it a separate thing. We're going to merge these senior groups together. That way, it's its own senior group. And I'm going to edit it again. So that way, your fencing is all in the same group. Now, what I'm going to do now, basically, I'm creating a template uh, I guess you could say for the um, for the entire queue. So this is going to be our template piece right here. And basically, I would uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put down another layer around right there. So that's going to be our fencing. That's just going to be our basic fencing for our uh, queue line. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this along here, and we're going to do that. And then you can go ahead and. If you hold shift and drag, you can speed up production by just doing uh, selecting more pieces and stuff and such. That would be nice. And then once you get to a, an end piece, sometimes I like to rotate it just to make sure I get to the end properly here. And then you can see I do have a little bit of a gap there, which is kind of awkward. You can put an extra 
uh, piece in there if you want to, but you don't have to, it doesn't matter. And you're basically going to just continue this around um, and until you get uh, your nice uh, cue. And this is a nice fence. Like I said, I love using this fence. You can, again, speed things along by just selecting more than one at a time and selecting quite a few here. And you can just go on down the line here. And then it is a good idea to have a plan on where you're going to have those... Um, uh, where you want your uh, oh gosh the uh, the chains so I'm gonna have a chain that's gonna go right here that way um, it can be open and closed um, same for uh, a couple of other spots here so I'm gonna make it to where you can open and close some of these um, as well and that's where we're gonna go so basically we're gonna go ahead and continue to do this so basically, actually, instead, we can go ahead and select all of this line here for us to be able to just go in right here. Go about right there. And we'll place it right here. And then we'll delete the excess railings there. And then basically I want this centered, so I'm just going to kind of adjust this one right there. Looking good. And then we can, like I said, you can literally just go in here and um, just kind of copy and paste it to wherever you need it um, to save as much time as possible. We're going to go about right here, and then I'll just move this end piece. It's very flexible, so that's the great thing about these is they're very flexible and you can really adjust everything you need to um, for these. They look very nice. And you can even make some fake cues. Uh, sometimes I like to make some fake cues, like put another extended here that's not actually usable, but make it look like it's uh, uh, sometimes. Yeah. But I usually I like mine to usually be functional uh, for the most part. So if you want to keep, let's keep these more even. So we're going to that way the end pieces are nice and even for when we do our railing over there. So that's basically going to be nice for that. And yeah, you'll just continue this process until you have some nice railings going in. And again, just kind of map out exactly where you want to put your um, um, chains. Um, you don't have to worry about it. If you don't want to, you don't have to do chains if you don't want to. I like to do chains because I find it to be a bit more realistic. Uh, to be able to open and close certain parts of the queue and everything. Um, to me, that just makes a lot of sense. So, again, we are going to be getting rid of these curbs uh, in the end as well, because we don't want those curbs in there. Because we just want to keep it nice and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, actually. Right about right there. Basically, we'll just line this up. That way, my edges are uh, all laid out level at the end here. I just want to make sure those are nice and uh, where I want them. <clears throat> so basically, we're going to go ahead and start uh, doing this end piece here. So just take some time and patience because sometimes this can be a little bit time consuming if you're doing a big queue, especially if you're doing a themed queue. And this will help your the uh, queue line scenery th uh, rating. It will get it up to 100 um, most likely. Like if it's not hitting 100, um, it should be <laughs> basically because you have a lot of scenery pieces here at the same time. So these basically should get your scenery rating up to 100 if they don't then um i know something should be is probably wrong there so <laughs> something's probably incorrect <laughs> something's something's not quite right if you're not getting your scenery rating to uh 100 as it should be all right so we're gonna go around right here oh we got a quick auto save thankfully i don't have a lot in this park so that's not gonna affect it too much Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> kind of froze up a little bit there. But there we go. We're going to go ahead and get this in here. Once you get your railing in, it's pretty smooth sailing from there. 
once you get all this railing in here and then uh, you just got to figure out what you're going to do with all your, your chains and stuff so there's that I'm going to go ahead and extend these out to connect with that one um, and then I'm just going to basically here we're going to go we're going to do this and I'm going to leave let's see should I leave an opening right here yeah we're going to leave an opening right here for a chain so this is where a chain is going to go up that way they can open and close this as they choose depending on how busy the park actually is okay so i don't want these in here so i'm gonna go ahead and delete these real quick ah. so yeah i should have thought about that a little bit better a little bit more but that's okay we'll we'll get her done still we'll get it done so we're gonna put a chain right there um, so that's gonna be another op uh, another spot where we can open and close and then um, let's go ahead and get these switchbacks um, all situated here as well once you get one of these you can literally just copy and paste them to the other switchbacks because they should in theory be the same length so let's go ahead and get those there nice 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 put that there and let's go ahead and get those end pieces and now that I have this I should be able to just literally copy and paste it um, around the queue here so here's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do That one there and then I should be able to copy this one right here oh probably could have actually did that now that I think about it because these should all be very symmetrical so you should be able to do two here at the same time yeah like that so you can like find little shortcuts like that to, to help you out sometimes Kind of like so. So we're going to have a chain there. We're going to have a chain over here. And uh, I feel like we could have a couple chains right here so they can open and close these as well. So I think I am going to go ahead and opt for a couple of chains here. So we're going to delete some of these. That way they can open and close uh, as they choose right there. Uh, it's good to have, kind of, have this kind of like mapped out, planned out a little bit. Um, before you get in so uh, that way you have less uh, to worry about there so basically what I'm going to do these are some chain links that you can use and this one is actually by uh, artificial artist on the workshop another theme makers toolkit they have a lot of different chains uh, that you can use I like chain link um, two meter t1 horizontal because um, this is like a uh, uh, a perfect length length for for like this if you wanted to use it here so basically we can do this I'm gonna center it and what I'm going to do is we're just going to adjust our railing here so basically what we can do is we could use the rounded railing which isn't a bad idea so we could use this rounded one to kind of symbolize that it's the end of this set of railing here. Could just like kind of do that. And probably rotate this around to the other side. Now you could put like in some quick chain link hooks or something along those lines. Oh, I don't think I had that part of the building. Let's go ahead and add it to our railings. Should have should have had it in there, but uh, I didn't. So yeah, there's a couple, quite a few different chains that you could use for this, but I'm gonna use one right here. And this will look a lot better uh, later on, so keep that in mind so basically I'm gonna go ahead and see if this will 
save us some time. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the uh, chain with these rounded pieces and see if we can't just like do do this number here and maybe save a little bit of time. Look at that. So we're going to put these in these situations so they can open and close these on uh, if they wanted to. It just adds a little bit more realism. The chain is entirely up to you if you want to use the chain or not. Um, I prefer using the chain. I like using the chain because I think... Um, I haven't actually used it that much in my actual parks, uh, but I feel like I should, <laughs> you know. Um, so those are nice, and now the main one we have is down here, and then we'll basically be done with this section. And then the, all that will be left to do is to remove the uh, curbs, because um, it definitely looks a, a little, uh, more realistic without those curbs, because um, it just looks a little more natural. So again, we could just put this chain link here, like so, and then all we got to do is close this up by getting some railings in over here. Let's go ahead and line this sucker up with this guy. There we go. Should probably only have these selected like that. There we go. And we'll put you right there. We just gotta put an end piece on there. There we go. And just like that, and uh, obviously we could do it all the way to the end here if we wanted to, but um, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of everything on the uh, check mark here. That way there's absolutely nothing selected, and we can literally get rid of these. So it looks like you know, it just looks natural and looks like you have all that room to go up and around there. So basically, we'll get rid of these curves now that we know where our railings and uh, queue are at. And a good thing you could do is add some TVs or um, if you want to create a nice little uh, generic queue, you know, it's not a bad idea to have some like Cedar Fair, I think, and Six Flags do it sometimes where they have little TVs in the queue line. Um, and maybe even some fans. There are some nice Theme Makers Toolkit. Again, Theme Makers Toolkit is your friends, guys, if you really want to uh, get some realistic looking stuff in here. You don't have to go, you can use in game stuff like the in game fences for this if you really wanted to. Um, it just doesn't look as good as, say, these kind of type of fences, in my opinion. Now, if you want to continue these fences up on, say, these elevated pads, it is not too difficult. That's one thing I usually try to avoid is uh, elevated pads with these things. But if you really wanted to, because uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys anyways, because um, these can be a pain in the butt as well. <clears throat> we can go ahead and um, I would start probably up here and we'll go up here so so when you were creating these little elevated uh, pieces it can be a little bit of a challenge but they're not too bad actually so basically we'll do that and then for these you want to try and match these uh, basically they will be on the grid very well when you, if you use like angle snap so basically, we're just going to line this up. You're going to have to get a little extra piece length of pieces in there. And then we're going to pretty much want to just pull these down. I just do one at a time. That way you can keep the angle. So I'm trying to here. And just do these individually. Otherwise, it's not going to be on the angle. Or you could select. There is an option where you can select that as well and it will work or if you're like me sometimes i like to just do this and line it up at the top here and then basically all you want to do is get a vertical piece at the bottom to go right here sometimes it can be a little hard to see and just put in some vertical pieces 
um, in some spots, maybe right here, and then maybe two more here. And then that's how you can do like elevated on steps, stuff like that. Um, it works pretty well. Um, and that way you can get some nice uh, looking uh, railings on your elevated sections as well. So those work quite well if you wanted to do that. Because obviously you want to stay consistent with your railing unless you're doing like some theme shifts or something like that and you're changing up the theme a little bit or something um, so like if you want you can easily do wooden pieces or wooden uh, wooden railings and stuff like that if you really wanted to and then for like sections like this you don't even need a railing right there technically so I would just leave it blank the bad part about the elevated railings and playing a coaster is that you cannot get rid of the curb so that is something you're gonna have to live with there's no current currently no way you can get rid of it maybe um, someday the modders can can figure it out that'd be actually really useful if the the folks that have been modding planet coaster could figure that out but so yeah so if you go in here let's go ahead and delete these guys yeah, we can kind of have a, you can kind of see how that's going. So I always prefer to using the very thinnest um, for my queue lines, and you can see that we got some nice uh, a nice queue here that looks quite nice. Um, and then if you want to go to toolkit items, there are some nice um, uh, these guys right here. It's a fan queue uh, arm, and this is uh, also by Idro. Idro also made these as well. So be sure to check out. His stuff, Idro makes some really nice, realistic theme makers toolkit stuff. Uh, just look at that, and they're all recolorable as well. Say if I wanted these red, uh, and then you can just in, uh, install all three pieces here. I think these go on here. I haven't actually installed one of these before. Uh, put one of these in here, and then ah, I see now. And these are, uh, I think the fans actually animated. Yeah, see, so it actually spins, which is pretty neat, and you can actually like. Uh, if we wanted to like just rotate it kind of like that so on those hot days your guests can um, and then to ma make things a little faster you can go ahead and group these all together and then that way um, it becomes easier when you copy and paste them to different places like over here say if you just put a couple of uh, Q line fans in here for when it gets nice and hot out you know keep keep our guests nice and cool And you can also do like some Q-Line TVs if you wanted to, um, just to add to it. But yeah, you can just add stuff like this. Um, they're, they're very nice. I, again, Hydro makes some really awesome, realistic stuff for uh, the Theme Maker's Toolkit and stuff. So I definitely highly recommend installing a lot of his uh, stuff on the Theme Maker's Toolkit. But for this... Um, only thing you need if you use the fan is the fan pieces and the railings by Idro. Um, he does a really good job, so make sure um, make sure you go download uh, a lot of his stuff. So, and there you have it. And then another good thing you can do is obviously add some lighting. Um, so you can just add some, I just add some normal uh, lighting in here, so we can just get some. <clears throat> Uh, some of these uh, or different street lamps and stuff whatever you want to use um, you can kind of construct your own or you can uh, you can go in and um, just use in-game ones whatever you prefer so I think I have I can't remember if I saved one there's that one I'm thinking of um, but I don't think I actually saved it yeah there's one that I, I would use but um, so for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to keep it simple and use uh, just the normal street lamp. Um, I would most likely probably use my own of some sorts. I'm going to go ahead and sink it down because it is a little tall. Um, and then sometimes I like to add... So if you go in here, you can see how much, how much we're lighting up here. And all this is optional. Um, the main thing is getting your... Um, 
everything else together, so. But yeah, I would probably spend a little extra time on the lamps if I were you guys. You don't have to, you can just use the in-game ones if you so desire, or you can actually go a little all out and take some time, make a custom lamp post or something, and um, you know, just just make it worthwhile. If you're doing realistic stuff, I'd imagine you'd probably want to do uh, do some of that, you know, uh, a little bit more realistically. So I'll just put these in here for now. But yeah, so there you have it. Some nice lamp posts to lighten it up when it's dark. And we just have some, a very basic uh, queue line that looks a little bit better than um, Planet Coaster's queue. So again, you can recolor the concrete to whatever you want. You can use other textures, whatever you want to use for your concrete. Um, you have that freedom. So, um, And you can always add more and more details later on. Um, again, if you're doing elevated paths, I would say do it on the elevated as well. <clears throat> for instance... I don't know if we can keep it the same pieces here, but sometimes if you go change the grid height, um, it doesn't matter. But we're going to go ahead and split it from the building. So if you want to like stay consistent um, with this, for instance, uh, we can put this path cover up here as well. That didn't actually line up <laughs> as well as I had hoped. So basically, we're gonna scoot this on down. One thing to note is when you are building around pads, it can be hard to select stuff sometimes. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, you can just continue. Uh, sometimes I like to do that. And then like, I just usually for my elevated, unless you do have a something that's not grid based that you're using for your um, bottom piece, you know. So yeah, so basically use um, railings such as like this. If you want to use in-game railings, it's fine. I would probably recommend just the metal railings if you're using in-game railings. Um, but I really highly recommend you go in and do Theme Maker's Toolkit if you can. Um, if you're using in-game, I'd probably say the closest ones would be this one. Just color them silver or whatever color you want to color them. But um, yeah, they're not great, but you can also, again, if you don't want to use the Maker's Toolkit, there is a pole piece right here that um, is very thick, is the only thing with this guy. It's very large, but again, if you're just stub too stubborn and you don't want to use any in-game, um, and you only want to use in-game pieces, you know, you can get away with um, stuff like this. I'd try and get rid of the... Honestly, I'd try and get rid of those black pieces. Just use this pole. And um, this is what I would do if I had no Theme Maker's Toolkit available to me. I'd probably do something along the lines of this. But to me, these are a little bit too big and too thick. Um, so I'd probably just use the in-game fence um, if that's what you want to do. So whatever you want to. But I again, I drew on... The Steam Workshop makes a lot of cool stuff, including these Q railings, <clears throat> these little Q fans, uh, and everything like that. So be sure to subscribe to those and check those out. Um, he's a really good uh, Theme Maker's Toolkit um, guy for realistic pieces. So, All right, guys, there's one thing that I did want to kind of add here, and that is kind of some cover. You can always build, like, uh, covers over these things or or different things like that. I do highly recommend if you want to do something generic is just go over here to another theme makers toolkit item. And this is the shelter for guests. It is flexi color, so you can change the color. It is by um, Lownap211. Um, I'm gonna have all the uh, links to these workshop items down in the, the, in the description. So if you want to go check those out to download them for yourself, um, sure you do that so you can easily put these like in the ends here something like this and this gives your guests some cover and some spots that way if it's like uh, you know crazy uh, I guess you could say uh, that way or if it's just you know they just want or your guests need some cover of some sorts 
you can give them some cover of some sorts. So uh, again, you can change the color of these uh, for the beams and the, the top pieces to whatever you want. So if you do want to do that, um, or you don't have to, it doesn't really matter. Whatever your preferences are. So I like to put them up here against the chains. I think that's kind of nice. Um, again, you can put these kind of wherever you want um, if you if you want to put use these or you can create some yourself. They're not too hard to create. They're pretty easy actually. Um, whatever you want to do with them. So these are just uh, if you want to have like little nice covers, um, I do recommend these as well. These are these are pretty nice without having to really build too much. Um, it is cool to kind of see stuff like that. Um, maybe even rotate some around. You can get a little creative with them. So if you wanted to do something like that, you could. Or you could like put some more over down here, and we're just gonna just gonna have these rotated to a different side here, and then we'll kind of like so. Look at that. Um, and then if you wanted to, like every other one, you could like change the change it to a different color. Or something like that and have to nice have it real nice like that um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually move my um, uh, move my uh, oh gosh <laughs> move my uh, uh, lighting <laughs> if possible I probably should have done this to begin with like I said stuff can be really hard to select sometimes if you're not careful So we're just going to move this light over here so it's not in a weird spot. So it kind of makes sense where it's at. Uh, just kind of like so. And there you have it. We can go back and edit these a little bit. Maybe change some colors around. Just give it a little, little bit of uniqueness, I guess you could say. Yeah, and then maybe make this one blue too. I could probably center this one a bit better. Actually, before that we do that, maybe uh, maybe we move this. <laughs> Just maybe move that before we move this, and then you have some nice little uh, nice little covers. You know, that way your Q line's a little bit shaded. Your guests will uh, appreciate that. Or you can actually build a full building on top of it that has a full roof and everything. But if you want to keep it kind of like simple or cheap, these guys are pretty pretty simple, pretty nice. Or you can create some of your own. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it just it's up to you. Um, I like these little guys, and I think they work very, very well. So anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And, uh, of course, I'll have more tutorials in the future. Let me know down in the comment section below what kind of tutorials you'd like to see next in Planet Coaster. Um, I'll see if I can get to them. And uh, if if I'm good enough, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll do that. So very simple little uh, cue line going here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So uh, make sure you guys have a great day and even cooler tomorrow. I'm going to catch you guys in the next live stream or video, whichever it may be. And thanks and goodbye.